time to take a look at our first ancestors that looked more like modern humans. With its name meaning working man, the species we are going to be discussing in this video is Homo ergaster. They lived between 1.8 to 1.4 million years ago and remained stable for approximately 500,000 years in Africa before disappearing from the fossil record. Individuals of this species had thinner bones, more protrusive face and a lower forehead. The species had reduced sexual dimorphism with a smaller face, a smaller dental arcade and a larger cranial capacity. They were also quite tall and slender with an average height of 1.9 meters. Overall, their body was so much alike to a modern human's body. Homo ergaster is thought to have evolved from either Homo habilis or Homo rhodolfensis in East Africa. The earliest Homo ergaster material is from the East Lake Turkana site of Kubi Fora in Kenya. Hence, you might have heard of the Turkana boy. The Turkana boy was found in 1984. He had a more human-like face with a nose that projected outwards and a larger brain case. Once, it was determined that he was only 8 years old yet 1.6 meters tall. Had he lived to adulthood, he would have been over 1.8 meters tall. It was apparent that Homo ergaster developed at a much faster rate. His morphology was adapted to the hot, dry conditions in equatorial East Africa that is, tall and long-limbed, similar to modern peoples of the region. This species was found to have possibly inhabited Algeria, Morocco, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania and South Africa. The reason for them migrating out of Africa may be due to the area becoming too hot and arid during the time of their existence. Homo ergaster also had a large brain with a size ranging from 850 to 1200 cubic centimeters. Despite being really tall at a very young age, their developmental rates show that they took longer to mature to adulthood. This feature suggests that Homo ergaster had an extended childhood period in which to complete development to maturity. Coming to the tools and their way of living. While nomadic, they are thought to have stayed in an area for at least short periods of time. They were thought to have used large stone tools including hand axes, cleavers and picks. Microscopic examination has shown their tools were mainly used on meat, bone, animal hides and wood. Homo ergaster appears to have used more diverse and sophisticated stone tools than its predecessor, refining the inherited Aldoan and developing the first Acheulean bifacial axis. The discoveries of stratified deposits of burnt stones, charred calcined bones and traces of ash indicates repeated burning events and concludes that Homo ergaster most likely regularly gathered around the fire to prepare and cook food and also for social reasons. The ancestry of Homo ergaster is still controversial. Some people do not recognize Homo ergaster as a species and instead classify these fossils as Homo erectus. On the basis of their strong morphological differences, many authorities now consider the diverse East African fossils as African Homo erectus. But those who do accept Homo ergaster consider this species to be the common ancestor of two groups of humans, Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis, that took different evolutionary paths. What do you think of this, guys?